So if you've been using GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad for a while, you're probably creating some songs, then hopefully you would like to now start sharing some of those songs. And in this quick tip GarageBand video, I'm gonna be showing you how to share directly from GarageBand to SoundCloud, which is an online music sharing service. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that to SoundCloud. Now I did a video recently, which was basically a workaround of this method where you can upload any file on your iOS device to SoundCloud using the Google Chrome browser in desktop mode. However, there is a simpler way, so I'm doing this a little bit backwards, but the simplest way to share is to actually come in here to GarageBand, and then we can do it two ways. We can either tap select and select on one of these, and then down the bottom left here, there's this share button, and we can tap directly on that. Or the other way, like most things here, we can just tap and hold, and let go, and then all of our options will be across the top here. So we'll do it this way, we'll tap on share, and here we can share the song, ringtone, or project. Now, for this example, we're going to share the song. We're gonna tap on song, and here's our quality settings. Now, when we're sharing, my recommendation is to go with the highest quality because you're sharing to a service that's going to compress the file anyway. So if you send it a high quality MP3, or in this case, AAC file here, then it is gonna compress it even more. So I would suggest if you can, if you've got the ability to upload the high, uh, high bandwidth file, then go with the uncompressed WAV file here at uh, 44 kilohertz, 24 bit. So we're gonna tap on share now and what we'll get here is all of our options, and I've been through some of these before, that we can actually save it to our files, we can send it to iTunes, we can open it in any number of apps, and depending which apps you've got installed, you've got a lot of options up the top here. But what we're interested in for the moment is SoundCloud. So let's tap on SoundCloud. And here you go, we've actually got, uh, because we've got the app installed, we can directly influence the settings here. Now, I've actually already got this song on uh, SoundCloud, so I'm just going to change this to, well, I'll leave it as New Day, but we'll call it New Day Test, and go down here, and I'm gonna actually make it private because I don't wanna post it publicly, but you do have the option there to actually post it publicly or privately, meaning uh, you, only you can see it if it's private in your collection, or if it's public, then anyone can see it and listen. So let's tap continue. And now we can set our settings here. We can either allow downloads, which means that other people can download the song. I always leave that on. I'm not that fussed. If you want to download and listen to my music, that's great. And allowing streaming so that they can, so that users can stream your song. Uh, so you can decide those and you can see my account is signed in there. If you're having issues, if it's not showing up here, what you need to do is go to your SoundCloud uh, account in the app and make sure you're signed in first because sometimes there's issues. If you just installed the app and you haven't signed into it yet, it may not work. So let's tap share now and it's going to export the song and then it's going to open up into SoundCloud and start uploading. So let's finish exporting this and then we'll come back and show you the end. Okay, so that exporting process took probably just under three minutes and now it's uploading. So this process, because I did a full uh, wave file and it's about 60 meg it'll probably take another five ish minutes so we'll come back once this upload has finished okay so now GarageBand has told me that my song has been uploaded and I need to log in to SoundCloud to hear it online so let's jump in and take a quick look at SoundCloud and see how this song has been uploaded Okay, let's now open up the SoundCloud app by tapping on SoundCloud, and apologies, this is in portrait mode because it's the only mode that this app works in. Not great for screen recording. Anyway, we'll tap in the bottom right here to go to my profile, and then tap on my profile picture here to view my tracks. And here you can see that we have my new track here, and you'll notice there that the album artwork is that default GarageBand logo. So using this method, there's no way to predetermine and define your artwork. However, if you use the other method, which I have a link to the video of, you can check out how to do that. Or of course, if you upload from a Mac or a PC. So I can't actually hit play on this song because it cuts out the audio from the screen recorder because there's a few little glitches here in iOS still with screen recording. So trust me that the song is there and it does play. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you've got comments, questions, suggestions, or other ideas about sharing to SoundCloud, please drop some comments down below, and I'll see you on the next video. 
Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you would like to check out my other video about uploading to SoundCloud, you can click on the link to the left and you've got another hand-picked video by Google just for you on the right. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, click on the Studio Live Today icon and head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.